I think I think it's important because it seems like AI is a kind of a quick fix and an easy thing to deploy, right? But um, we all, you know, the, those of us that have worked with it know it isn't. Um, I guess what are what are the prerequisites before you implement AI in your company? And Tony, you want to tackle that one first because you've yeah. done a lot of it. I think um, there are really three pillars that support any successful AI implementation. And the first one is, we've touched on this a lot already, is having good data. And by good data, that means having clean data, good quality data, data that's up to date, coming in in real time, um, data that is accessible. What we've seen that is common, even in the largest broker brokerages, and we've seen this from our time working together, Evan, is that brokerages ha usually have a common a place where they store all their data, which is either their TMS or another data warehouse or in their track and trace solution. And this data, although it does a really good job of storing the data, it's not really accessible to use via API or other means um, so that AI can really learn off of, the, off of this data. And so brokerages really need to start, you know, taking control and taking ownership of their own data because it is your data and you should be able to use it however you want. The second pillar that um, is really necessary is just having technical expertise within your organization that really understands AI. And this sounds kind of obvious, but similar to how AI is not an out-of-the-box solution, it's also not a one-size-fits-all solution. There are so many different machine learning models that can solve different problems, and someone really needs to go in and look at you know the data that you have and the problems that you're trying to solve and see kind of where the intersection lies, where the in intersection is where AI can come in and kind of provide solutions. And the last pillar that we see is really important for companies that are implementing AI for the first time or that are new to um, artificial intelligence. And this is what we call in the machine learning world as having a human in the loop. So this is someone within your organization who really understands the business processes that you're trying to make more efficient. And their job is to just monitor the AI and make sure that every decision that comes out that it's making is either correct or incorrect. And by doing this, um, you're really ensuring that, you know, you're not implementing an AI solution company-wide and having it muck up everything from the get-go. Um, and even, you know, companies such as when I was at Facebook, they developed a world-class facial recognition algorithm called DeepFace. You know, it's a terrible name. Um, <laughs> but it really was the best. Um, it was able to recognize any face in any picture with 98% accuracy. But even Facebook, you know, the leading AI company, is only able to do this with a 98% accuracy. So having a human in the loop is really a great way to kind of start small, make sure you know that everything is working before scaling it up within your organization.